Howdy friends, this is Lance. I want to talk a little bit about the offline process on a Chromebook and how students can access their assignments in an offline setting. Obviously, they need to be online first in order to be able to gather these assignments, but it is possible on a Chromebook to work offline if it is Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides. And you can distribute those items all through Google Classroom. I will also talk a little bit about the video process and how you can make videos work offline for students. And this is a little bit exclusive to my school district as it, it really does depend on how your school district has things set up from a tech department administrative standpoint. The other thing you got to keep in mind is I'm going to create a second video for the students so that way they can see that process. But this video is for the teachers so that way they can see how they set up their assignments so that way students can access them. All right, so let's start out with just the teacher side of things. I'm going to create an assignment, give it a name, and I'm going to attach a set of Google Slides that I have ready to go. So I click on Add, click on Google Drive. I can search my entire drive if I know what folder it's in, or I can use the search option up here. Those two tools are very helpful, but I see my slides right here. So I'm going to insert the slide presentation and I'm gonna make it that each student gets a copy so that way they can store it in their Google Drive and work on it. And when I show you this slides presentation, I'm gonna show you that it has a video embedded into the slides. So this is for if students do not have internet access readily available. You can access the video content offline, but it's some extra steps. And so I'll go through those steps and show you that process. Here's where people usually get confused. They assume that if they assign a Google Slides presentation that has video content and they make a copy for each student, that the video is also included and that's just not the case. So you actually have to make this video available so that way students can access it separately. So if you want students to be able to access it offline, what you do is you just add the video and you must be the owner of this video. It has to be in your Google Drive. You can't just do this with YouTube or any other video website. You have to actually have the video in your Google Drive for this to function. I'm going to do a search here specifically for videos by searching by file type is very helpful to break down exactly what it is you're looking for. If I wanted to dig down even further, I can go past the type colon video and put in this space a keyword, which would help me find specifically what I'm looking for. And when I hit enter, it should pull up those videos that have the word remove in it. So I will select my video that I need for students to access the slides presentation. I'm going to leave it as view file. I used to make it that each student gets a copy, but what ends up happening is your Google Drive becomes a big massive mess. So I'm not going to do that. And in the student version of the video, I'm going to go through the steps of making sure that you understand how a student can access it offline. Set my topic, my due date, my points, all of that information, and I'm going to assign it to the students. Please check the description to see the link to the next video so that way you can see what it looks like for students. I do these separately so that way you have a video that you can show directly to the students so that way they have information that they need in order to be able to access these videos offline. 